78 to 75, and the Bulldogs have their hearts broken. In Lexington, and they'll have to wait a couple of more days for an opportunity at an SEC championship. The weight of a season can really wear on you, especially when you're 27 and 1. 82-64. Tennessee is going to win it. I felt like I let the seniors down by not giving them a good senior night and winning the championship. The sting of it was we lost those two games, the last two in the regular season, and you're playing for an SEC championship. It's just going home knowing that you could have won it. That's another championship that we could have won. We lost, so that's a bad feeling. You're 27 and one. You're, you know, the number can probably get a little heavy, and uh, you got to move on though. You got to pick yourself up off the deck. Impose your will, get on your toes, communicate, talk. Hey, here's the bottom line. We need to go have fun, we need to go play. Just play our game. Pushing the ball, sharing the ball, extra passes, attacking, racking layups. But just go enjoy the moment and go play. We've got things we got to get done. Tonight's the first step. Let's go. We needed to get our playing hard piece back and the focus piece and being mentally strong. So going into the SEC tournament, we had to get all those things ready in a short amount of time. Even though we played them back on, I think, January 1st, it had been two months. They had gotten better. Um, some questioned whether we were better when we were playing them this second time because of what had happened in the course of two ball games. Look, Mississippi State just wants a shot. They don't care where they have to play. And I think they'd play in Dawn Staley's living room if they had to. But the thing you got to do, you got to win tonight before you look ahead. I just felt like we needed to get back on the left-hand side of the column. And if we did, I thought, you know, hey, we, we'd probably feel pretty good and feel like we're, we're back. William puts it on the floor for a couple of triples. Back to Dillingham right wing. Richardson, right baseline jumper, 15 footers, good. And the Bulldogs have extended the lead. LSU now in a 3-2 zone, they're extending it. And now baseline jumper from the left side, 17 footer for Brianna Richardson. Like once I looked at my teammates and I saw the look in their eyes, like it's time to go, then I had more confidence in myself and in my team that we were going to win the game. We got to have every rebound. When we finally make a miss, we got to have the rebound. Over the circle, back to William, now Chapel. Left baseline loops it inside to Tara McCowan. It was triple team. Now it goes to Morgan William on the left wing. Back to Vivian. She gets it inside to McCowan, puts it on the floor. Now a little hook shot in the This one has been a tight one all the way through. Morgan William bumped at the SEC logo, got the roll, and count it. Now McCowan all alone. LSU lost her, and now there's going to be a foul on the Tigers as McCowan scores it, and it's going to be against Jackson. We just know when we get that fire in us, and we just get it going and our blood's flowing and we're in the rhythm and everybody's knocking down shots, making the extra passes, you know, finding the open person, like, it gets us going and we just know that we could be the greatest team there is when we're all together on the same page. And now Morgan William gets it to go about a 16-foot jumper and now stolen away by McCowan and she'll just put it up with the right hand for the right side. 17-point win for Mississippi State. Oh. Game that was close all the way to midway through the third quarter, but the Bulldogs find a way. Our four players. Woo, monsters. Monsters. I can't read this. I think that. Oh, where did Bree go? Five for seven. Five for seven. Five for seven. Boy, the four Bree. for four. Oh, four for four. Look, 33 points in the fourth quarter for us offensively, 20 in the first quarter. That's 53 of our 78. Bottom line is, we got to come ready. We're still, one of our championships is still in front of us. That goal is still there. We've only missed out on one of the seven. This is one that's still there. We've got to score inside again, T. We've got to score inside, Chenway. We've got to guard inside. They're going to want to go inside. I'm going to want to make them use their legs and attack them off the bounce, and I want to press them. Okay? Let's go. Y'all look who don't play. BNM on three. One, two, three. BNM. Hey, we beat them twice. Um, we knew going in that AM that probably would have some confidence because they probably felt like they let one slip away at their place. Win the minute, win the hour, and let's win the day. 
Laura will worry about will take it'll take care of itself. But we got to do that right now. I told you, toughness and resilience. Those are the two things about today. Attack! Really good job, good first quarter. Way to come out ready to go. Focus defensively. Tori, you're in help side. You're sitting in there like this, looking like a pro. Looking like a million dollars down there. Keep your foot on the pedal and keep attacking. Don't settle. And then we come out in the third quarter and we are lit. Second time in as many years, the Bulldogs will play for the SEC championship at the SEC tournament. And for the second time in as many years, it will be against the South Carolina Gamecocks. I was thinking about them like right when we walked out the floor I was like okay that game's over it's time to get to the real game like I was ready I was pumped for them we gotta find a way to get it done tomorrow we gotta find a way to get it done tomorrow gotta find a way to get it done tomorrow when the game was over you know I felt good about where we were I felt like we were in a place where hey we've got a chance now to go play for our second SEC championship in a week and uh, you know what, when we came here five years ago, that was my promise to our administration is that we're here to win championships and here we are. We got another chance. It's our third chance to win a championship in two years. Toughness, resilience, and heart. That's what this time of year is all about. Nobody's 100%. We hadn't been 100% since probably November. Nobody is. I certainly was confident in my team last year, but this year's team, I just felt like, hey, we're a little more mature, we're a little older, a little wiser. And um, so, I, you know, I felt good about it. Y'all trained too damn hard to let this one go. Chance at redemption, what are you gonna do? Look yourself in the mirror, look yourself, search your soul, set the record straight. Don't let them repeat. At the end of the night, it needs to be the new SEC champion. You sell out. You go lay it all on the line right now. Get rid of those smiles. I need, I need 13 monsters. 13 monsters. Let's go. Goes around the perimeter to the top of the key. Now floats it the right hand and scores it to South Carolina. Draws first blood. Morgan William, right wing, entry pass. Knocked away by Asia Wilson into the hands of Bianca Davis Moore. They're running two on one. Bounce pass to the right side. Putting it up is Davis with the right hand and she scores it. For Carolina leads it four to nothing. We've got to attack. She's got to have the ball when she's open. Brianna Richardson, the top of the circle. Gets a screen. Now fires it up and it's good. Brianna Richardson. Help! Gives it over to Davis. Davis. She goes inside. Wilson one on one with a quarry. Puts it up in the left hand. Nothing you can do to defend that. It goes. We've got to respond. Uh, we've got to get off our heels. We've got to attack pressure with pressure. It comes down the floor on the near side. She'll go to our left. Lobs it for Brianna Richardson. She puts it up off the window. It's good. Morgan one in between the circles. Over to Johnson. She fires a left wing three. It's away. And it's a uh, long knock there. But pulled down by Tierra McCowan. Spins around. Puts it up. And it's good. And now the Mississippi State fans erupt. And it's 14 to 11. The Bulldogs are. Back within three, hooks it on the left side. Tries a crossover, it's gonna hit her feet, and it's gonna go into the hands of Dominique Dillingham. Here's Morgan William flying down the floor, puts it up, and it's a coast-to-coast -coast layup. And that's going to end the first quarter of play. 14-13, South Carolina's gonna lead the Bulldogs. That's the fight I'm talking about. I 
mean just compete? Show me some sneaking hard and competitiveness. We started getting defensive stops and we started making shots and we started being more aggressive with them and they, uh, they kind of turned the game around. Got to go get you something other than a jump shot. When your jumper's not falling, find another way to help us win. We finally almost walked with it. Tiny takes it in the paint. It's going to be knocked away by MSU, and here comes Vivians with it. Vivians up the floor near side. Vivians to the front court. Vivians takes it to paint, puts it up, and it's going to go, and she's fouled. We got a score, ladies. We're guarding the hell out of them, but we got a score. Richardson skies up, dumps it inside to Tier McCowan, spins, shoots too hard. Back out of there. Davis has it nine seconds. Now Cuevas Moore got out in front of the MSU defense. She walked with it, no call. And South Carolina scores. Three seconds, two seconds. Morgan William will take it, float it with the right hand, and it goes. And the Bulldogs get that bucket back, and it will be a three-point game at the half. 29-26. Boy, what a final minute of the first half, Charlie. That's really a great play that, that Mo made and smart. For Morgan to go down the court in four seconds, that's that's amazing. I've never seen Morgan dribble the ball that fast and get from rim to rim. Big play, no question. We go in the locker room with a little momentum. They probably go in the locker room going, hey, what the heck just happened? Now over to Dillingham again on the right wing. Guarded by Harris, goes inside to Vivian's. Vivian's right block, puts it up in good. She falls to a keister and slides, but she's okay. Wait, now, now! Morgan Williams, 16 footer straight away, good. And the Bulldogs have tied it at 34 all. We talk about somebody having to step up and carry the Bulldogs. Is William that person? Now to Morgan Williams left side. Three on two break. William pull up, jump, and good. We were making plays. You know, you're going to beat a team like that in front of their fans. You're going to have to make plays. Both ends. Richardson left the shot and lobs it. Inside the team, McCallum spins to her right, puts it up, and it's good, and she's fouled, and the Bulldogs have a chance to take the lead. I don't really show that much emotion, but in that game, like, I really wanted it for my seniors, and I really wanted it for my team, so that just got me going. Like, that got me like, yeah, they're going to have to guard you. 16-footer for Morgan Williams. Rattles out, not there. Tia McCowan, stick back to the good. The Bulldogs have their longest lead of the game. It's by three. You need to finish strong here this third quarter. And the Bulldog fans come to their feet. And yes, there's a couple of thousand of them here. Morgan Williams goes over to Tia McCowan, left side, great decision. She puts it off the window, and it's 45-40. Stayed up by five. Well, that's a really good play there by Morgan Williams. She's having a great second half for the Bulldogs. Cuevas can't go in. Ain't nobody on that end down there can guard her right now. She's either going to get her shot, get to her spot, attack, rack it, or find a quick up. And the Bulldogs will lead by five at the end of the third, 45 to 40 as we head to the fourth and final period. At some point in, you know, late in the middle of that fourth quarter or early in the fourth quarter, we just stopped executing. They went to zone, you know, it presented a different look for us. and. Um, we still ran some stuff, but we weren't looking to get it where it could still go, where we were getting it when we were running our man stuff. And uh, those looks were still there, but for whatever reason, we just didn't want to make that next pass. That's two fouls in about 20 seconds. I can't have that. You're playing way too good. You're an impact in the game, but you can't impact it over here. William comes flying down the floor. 48-45, William left elbow chopper good. Boy, she has been clutching this SEC tournament. 6.41. There's no more media. Who's going to have to call the next time out? Four seconds, three seconds for Shonda Johnson. Takes it in the paint, pushes it up, threw off the window and got it. Oh, goodness. How did she score it, Charlie? The Bulldogs haven't scored in a while. And uh, Big Schaefer calls the timeout. And that's really where the game was, was lost, was our inability to score um, from about the six and a half minute mark on. Three seconds, two seconds, South Carolina gets the rebound and the confetti will begin to fall. And South Carolina has beaten Mississippi State and in another heartbreaker as the Bulldogs have a chance to win in the fourth quarter. That's the thing that I want y'all to learn. You're not gonna win and beat a team like that playing 34 minutes. And we're gonna play that game again in the next two weeks. You know, I wouldn't trade this team, and I hope we get put in that situation again if we play them again, because I'm, I feel like we'll be mature enough to know what we made, well, what we did last time. So I feel like we'll come out there and we'll finally win. I just tell you this because we're going to be in this game again three weeks from now. The bottom line is we got to learn from it. 
season ain't over, it's far from over, far from over. But we've got to learn from this, ladies. We have the pieces. We're certainly talented enough. Um, can we play well enough is the question. I'm gonna walk off that court one of these days and I ain't gonna have to walk off. I'm gonna get to stand out there and let all that confetti rain down on me and my team. Thank you.